welcome to your practice, to your space, to your magical place, to this time of like intimacy, the into me I see. And you've heard me talk about Judith Hanson Lasseter before. She's a teacher of yoga for many, many years. And she was talking about um, how you, this, I, you know, and you guys have been with me for a long time. I was like, you know, how are you feeling? What do you need? And she was talking about that sentence as this gift you give yourself to really check in and to feel what's happening. And even, you know, you do that for like the very beginning of class and go, how am I feeling? You take a moment to check in. And if it's just even at that moment, that's good practice. So I just wanted to share that because I was, I love that. And, you know, we've been doing that for a long, long time. Okay, so here you are in your space. We will take a moment to check in. Okay, make yourself comfortable. And then let's begin with the palms up wherever you put your hands. Then wiggle, give a little shake. <laughs> and then drop into your, your home. Asking yourself, how am I feeling today? And then let's even change that to, what am I feeling today? One more moment. Before we move into ohms, we're going to come to that beating of the chest we've been doing. So you can have your eyes still closed or open them up way and just start to wake up your heart space, your upper chest. Good uh, stuff. So, yes, get it out. And then we'll move to this, this little part under here. It's so sensitive and very um, tender part, but an important part. The connection of the arms and the heart, literally the wings of your heart. Good stuff. And then we'll take the hands to the back like we did the other day and you make little fists and you just reach up as high as you can and do a little pounding and you can go all the way down to your sacrum and back up and the sides, anywhere there that just need a little wake up. A little wake up. Good. Okay. And I'm just beating the belly for <laughs> good. Anything else? Give it here and then come back to your palms up. Nice big breath, feel the change. Let it go. And inhale, grow tall. And as you exhale, with reverence, bringing your hands to your heart, bowing your chin. Here you are at the beginning of your practice. This, this is the gift. This is the showing up for yourself. This is an opportunity to move, you know, emotional energy, you know, energy in motion, emotion. Move it with your breath and your practice and your awareness. So into that, friends, we'll chant Om three times. Inhale. Oh. Sit for a few moments here, do what you need to to be comfortable. Letting the corners of your mouth lift up. The weight of your shoulders release.
feeling each breath expanding, contracting. And inviting in gratitude for this simple moment. Seeing your hands. Okay, let's stretch the legs out. Just give them a little good morning. Come move the feet around. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with that. Well, let's start with the seated uh, footy for a moment. Put that foot anywhere. You can go like this. And just wake up the sole of your foot. Like you are almost like. You know, this is the greatest access to your inner soul through the sole of the foot. It's not, but give it that much reverence. Like you're just so enthralled by the sole of your foot. Good. And then we'll move it up to the toes and create some space, give them a wiggle. Good. Okay, let's do a little twisting of the whole soul. That's it. Let's take a moment that quick to make change, <laughs> even to feel it. And then we'll bring the other foot up and we'll do the same thing. Oh, hello, beautiful soul. Moving up to the toes, waking them up, each little piggy. Pull, a twist, a massage. Good. Do some corkscrew twisting. Good. Okay, and just like that. And we'll stretch it out. And good morning to the feet. Okay. Um, no, okay, let's start on our backs. <laughs> There's so many exciting things that are. Which we should start. Well, let's start here, and I'm going to put a uh, blanket down for the back of the head. And then, if you want to put something down for underneath your hips, do that. Let's have our strap went by and a block. Okay. And I do have my bolster here too on the other side. I know you have all your stuff, so you know, just so you, you have your stuff around and go lie down. I put this blanket underneath the right at the tops of the shoulder or um, let's see what is that I'm gonna say in line with the underarms the tops of the underarms and so the backs of the upper shoulders are resting on the blanket and the head is there and then if you need more support you just grab the ends of the blanket give them a little roll in and you can take it up higher and make any adjustments okay um once you're here we'll take the arms out to the side I'm starting with a very gentle windshield wiper, just so gentle. And thinking of it more as like rolling the sacrum to the hip, sacrum to the hip. Just feel this. Yes. Okay, so it's just a little bit of rocking. And we're going to add a little hip lift. So let's do it together. We'll let the knees rock over to the right, just you know, a little bit. So you're still there. And then push into the Left foot, let the left hip come up. And then release it, roll from sacrum, left side, knees rock to the left, and then push into the right foot. And just, you can go at whatever speed now, just connecting to this inner wake up of low back, hips, sole of your foot. You know, lift the toes up off the floor. And more into the Foot, the hip lifting. Good. Oh, let's do one more on each side. And we're not going to stop. We're just going to now flow into full windshield wiper. So, rocking your knees all the way over. As so you come to the knees on the ground, and push the opposite foot away, let the hip lift. Same action, just a little deeper now. 
Yeah, you can feel it moving all the way up to the shoulders. And the head is moving. Oh. Okay, next time your knees drop to the right side, we're going to take the left arm and we're going to bring it down and roll it over your body. And then you roll over to the right side. Take the left arm, keep going. And keep circulating the left arm. And just let everything move as it needs to here. Just rolling. Um, you know, this is more about moving the left arm to whatever part of the body comes in to help it. Allow that oh. circulation of your breath. And someplace here will reverse this. The body is moving. Breath is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. And let that left arm come back out to the side. And maybe keep the knees to the right. Let the head turn gently to the left. You can engage your feet with the knees and need a little extra support. Okay, big breath in. Bring your arms overhead. Lift the knees up to center. Now as you exhale, open the arms back up to the side and drop the knees to the left. And we're going to do that a few times. So we'll take the arms up, bring the knees up, inhale. And exhale, open the arms up to the T as the knees go to the right. Okay, I'll do this just a few more times. There's tension in your face. You're just moving with joy. And if you were five and we were doing this, you would just, I know you would enjoy it. So <laughs> embracing the inner child. And next time the knees come over to the left, arms out to the side, we're going to just stay there. Then you might lift the right hip for a moment. And then we'll start to circulate the left arm. So we're going to bring it down and up and around. Everything moving as it needs to. Head might be moving. Hip, knees, all good. And from this action of rolling the arm, the whole body is playing along. Okay, and at some place here, we'll reverse this. A nice big circle. Expansive breath. Expansive breath. So, um, you're rolling around on the floor is a great medicine. Good, okay. And then the next time the arm comes out to the right, we'll just hang out here, let the head turn. If you want to engage the feet a little bit, be relaxed. Okay, on the inhale, the arms go up to the sky, the knees come up. This time, as you exhale, we're going to open the arms up to the side, drop the knees up to their perspective sides. And inhale, reach up, take the knees up, maybe they touch. And exhale, open. I'm going to just heel toe the feet a little wider here. And you inhale, knees touch, hands touch. And this time, let's let the arms start to go all the way up and all the way down. And you might even rest underneath your thighs or just touch the backs of the thighs here. And just find your dance. Take your time. I am on the heels. Won't have to be. Okay, yeah, let's do one more. Okay, we'll take the arms up, bring the knees together. Now widen your feet, basic resting pose. Now I've taken the arms are overhead. I'm actually going to lift them up and extend them a little bit longer. <sighs> and breathe here. Okay, feel your feet. All right, now no, you're going to lift your hips up with the knees together and the feet as they are. So what do you need to do? Maybe walk the feet in or find a place here. And on the inhale, push into the feet. And even if the hips don't lift, as you exhale, bring them down. So it's not a big movement. I'm just going to do that a few times. Inhale, and then lift, and exhale. Last one.
Okay, let's do a pause here. Let's separate the knees. Heel toe your feet right together. Bring the right knee in and we'll take the right, uh, both arms up and over. Find your interlace here. We're rocking horse this thigh a little bit. So you have the left foot on the floor and you can use that. Maybe as you bring the right thigh in, you push into the left foot, your hips are gonna lift a little bit. Yes. Your pelvic health, your back health. Good. Okay, hug this right thigh in and then we'll rest, rest in quotes here. You can extend the left leg if you like, or we against the wall. So you can lift. And one more full breath. Smile. Okay, extend the leg up. I start to giggle because we're just going to massage the back of the leg. So they say smile, and I just have that thing from Elf, you know, smiling to your face. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helps to release some tension. Okay, good. We're going to take the hands and interlace them right at the center of the thigh, and you have your strap friend if you need it. Okay, I'm going to start to push the thigh into the hands and maybe the knees bent, whatever you need to do. So you're feeling like, oh, the hands are really working here. The shoulders are drawing down. One more breath. Okay, stay here, but let the tension relax a little bit. I'm just popping the shoulders up and down a few times. Okay, I'm going to um, bend the left leg, put the left foot on the floor. I'm going to drop the left knee out to the side. And then I, I do allow the left foot to come a little bit more to the right. I'm just looking for, can I be here and be comfortable? So maybe you grab your bolster, your block, and put it underneath your knee. Or you find a different leg position. Okay, and then from here, we're just going to uh, lift and lower the lower right leg. So you inhale. And as you exhale, flex your foot, bend the knee, bring the heel down, point the foot, inhale, and extend. You're moving with your breath. Okay, the left leg is really immaterial. I've just done this. You do whatever you need to do. It's about moving this right leg, articulating the right foot, and watching it like the fascination of a, a newborn when they first discover their limbs. And they're like, oh, well, look at that. That is the fountain of you. I'm going to take one more here. Okay, and now the left leg again. Do whatever you need to do. We're going to start to paint lines with the right foot. So maybe we'll take the arms out and we'll just move the foot side to side. We're going to start to make a circle with that as if you're, you know, really it's about the knee here. So as I circle, as we all circle the shin, it's almost like you're painting a circle with the sole of your foot. Good. Notice any tension in the shoulders. Good. Reverse the circling. Good. Okay. And then we're going to bend the knee. Take your hands and just rub your knee. Hello, knee. Thank you. I love you. Maybe the back of the knee, the front of the knee. Good. Okay, I'm going to put the left foot on the floor, knee bent. We're going to cross ankle over knee. Interlace your fingers, flip the palms, take them over your head. Breathe. Smile. Okay, I'm going to come to that baby windshield wiper. So I'm not going anywhere. It's more of a back massage, sacral massage. Okay, and then come to center. We're going to bring this package into thread the needle. I'll lift the left leg up, bring the arms up and over, and hug behind the thigh on top of the shin. Oh, use your strap. It's right there. So this goes behind the thigh. Okay, so here's I love this pose because it's a how are you feeling pose, and something always comes up here. And so find your joy at the discovering discomfort. It is the entryway. It is the yoga. It's the place where we have to find comfort amid discomfort, invite it in. 
welcome it. Oh, I know you. And then, you know, maybe you move a little bit side to side or in and out as a way of bringing it in, inviting in the guest. And take three more breaths here, softening the face, the shoulders, the back of the head. Good. Okay, release your hand and find this right leg, baby. So the right hand holds the knee and the left hand can you know, around the upper leg or around the foot. I'm going to set the left foot on the floor. And we'll start to just bring this in and out. And now, if you have your left foot on the floor still, maybe the left knee is waving in opposition. It's waving out as the right knee goes out and moves in. Good. Okay, one more moment. And then we're going to cross this right knee right over the left knee. Yes, take your arms uh, down, palms down. So they're not going to be right beside you, but they're down. Okay. Heel toe your left foot towards the right side. Yeah, and then anchor the right foot, lift the hips, shift them over, sorry, left foot anchors. Lift your hips, shift them to the right. So you're more on the left side. Open your arms up to the side and we're gonna drop this knee down. And then you have your props if you need it. You can also release it completely. And I'm gonna wave this. So it's really about the hip, it's just rocking. Good. Okay, and then you would keep waving or drop in here. Okay, I'm taking the right shoulder, just tucking it in a little bit. And then let the head gently roll to the right. How are you feeling? Okay, come all the way up. Bring your feet to the floor, realign your hips for a moment. Maybe stretch your legs out or take basic resting pose, feet wide, knees together. Hands maybe on your tummy or over your head. And just feel what you've done. The right side a little more open. You know, I always feel the left side going, wait, don't forget about me. So, okay. We're going to separate the, oh no, keep the knees together. We're in basic resting pose. So the feet are wide, pigeon toe, knees together. I'm going to keep the arms overhead, but wherever you like, we're going to lift and lower the hips a few times like you did before. So, uh, moving with your breath and Keep the thighs together, knees together. Maybe you can bring in like, the feeling of cat cow in the lower body. It's arching and like you're just opening up the face of you. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. And then we'll lower down. We separate the knees, heel toe the feet right together. And then we'll bring the left. Side in, opposite interlace, and find your little rocking horse here. Yeah, and straighten your leg if you prefer. And you can do this a few more times. And then we're going to rest in this um, pose. So with the thigh in, maybe here you extend the upright leg if you haven't yet. And keep it bent and breathe. Okay, we're going to release the hand, extend the leg, just give it a little massage. We age, we maybe need a little help with circulation, so this could be it. Right. Okay, and then take your hands, opposite interlace, center of your thigh. I'm going to press the thigh into the hands. So I feel the shoulders kind of come into this and Release that. So this is me lifting the shoulders up. I'm going to bring them down as fast as I can. And then find your smile, your breath. Okay. 
And then we'll keep the hands as they are, just release all that pressure. I'm going to take this half body kamasana with the right leg again. And we clap it up, but we don't feel it does. This is just this. So whatever you choose to do is all of it here. And then as you inhale, press the heel up. And as you exhale, bend the knee. Point the foot and inhale. Watch the glory of your, your knee, this mystical joy here. And I know one of you here is, understands this preciousness of the knee is having two new ones. So such a, an important part. Good. Okay. And next time the foot drops down, we're going to release the arms and start to just paint some lines side to side. So the leg stays pretty stable, and this is really the hip joint that's moving here. Okay, and then we'll start to make a full circle of the shin so that the knee is getting its lubrication here. And then reverse. Simple joy. Nice. So we'll bring that in. And we'll bring the left, uh, right foot to the floor, and then we'll cross ankle over knee. Okay, I'm going to take the arms back out to the side, and we're going to do this little baby windshield wiper. And you're going to feel you're really rolling on your back from sacrum to hip, hip to sacrum. And we'll bring it to center, and we'll just thread the needle. We'll just with joy and kindness for whatever is here. Um, you have these places of, I'm going to use the word discomfort. It might be more than discomfort, and it might be comfort. But once we drop into these places, then when we come into the repose, there's so much to experience. So soften your face muscle. <laughs> Back of your heart and let it drop. It's almost like the anchor for the opening stretch you're feeling here. Use your breath. Okay, the rocking is always an option. It's like that little extra massage. The movement. And then we'll drop in again. You can keep moving or ah, if you're napping, <laughs> just let everything be here. Okay, we'll release the hands, find this leg baby, and place the right foot back on the floor. We'll rock this left <laughs> side, and maybe the right knee is going to move. So it's almost become in opposition of whatever the left knee is doing. Crossing, releasing. Okay, so we're going to cross this left knee over the right knee. Open your arms out to the side. Now feel the right foot on the floor. We're going to heel toe to the left side. And then once it gets wherever it's going to be, Plant it, lift yourself up, shift the hips over to the left. So you're going on the right side, and then we'll drop this package over. And then you have your props. You can always prop it up. You can release the cross. Maybe you move here. This is very tight, and you can wave the hip and invite this in. Okay, the head. You're not going to actually like seriously turn it. You're not going to rock towards the left, or even if it's just looking up at the sky, you're still getting a twist in the middle. Well, I just got an awesome back crack. <laughs> so, I'd love to share that. These are the wins. Nice. Find your way back up. You release the leg, realign the hip. Come back. Okay, let's walk the feet away from you a little bit, but keep them together. 
And we're going to do this um, variation of windshield wiper we did the other day. So the arms can be out to the side. I'm going to keep the feet and the knees together as best as I can, as best as we can. And as you exhale, drop the knees over to the right. So the soles of the feet are up and then roll from side to side. And nice and slow if you like. You want to take your arms overhead for an extra something. Do that. And you can rush through this. But if you take your time, maybe you focus on the sacrum to hip connection. So you're on one hip, sacrum. Yeah. And that the movement of the legs is just facilitating this rolling on your back. Okay, and then we'll bring it up to center. I'm going to bring the knees into the chest, both of them, almost like a child's pose, but we rock a little bit here. Low back, we're hopping. Okay, we're going to hang here in this hangout. We're going to hang out in this. You could use your strap around, you know, backs of the thighs, fronts of the shins, whatever. Comfortable. Knees dropping out to the side if that's more comfortable for you. How can you be here amid the discomfort? You find a little discomfort. And then just notice for yourself, is that sacrum really lifting off the floor? How can you bring it back down? Can you soften your face? And when we do child's pose on the front, it's about receiving the weight onto the legs. So here, maybe it's about receiving the weight onto the torso, into the back, and letting the floor support that. You could say it this way. Where can you soften? Use the hip flexors. And if you soften the jaw even more, and maybe if you open your mouth a little wider, you might feel an action in the hips, a releasing in the glutes. That you know, the mouth is open, the jaw is dropping. It's a uh, you know this expression of disbelief. I can really melt in here. Give me one moment. Okay, and then release, take your arms out to the side, feet to the floor, feet nice and wide, and then stretch your legs out. So we've got these wide legs, and let your feet just flop for a moment. And here we're just releasing <coughs> the hip, <coughs> the sacrum. Oh, you know, I love the cough. These things are moving, so. Good. Okay, we're going to keep the legs as wide as they are. We're going to keep the right leg where it is and just bend the left leg. So the foot you know, is probably turning out a little bit. We've got nice space here. And they feel into your right foot. Can you center the heel? And you might not be able to. It might be too much. You know, it's going to turn the hip. So if you can bring the toes up, great. If not, be right in your comfort. Okay, we'll inhale. Exhale, and we'll start to push into the left foot till the left hip lifts. So let it lift and then bring the left knee down to the inside. And then we'll take it up and let the hip come down and the left knee drop out. So the sole of the foot might lift. And we'll just do this a few times. Yeah, so I'm going to take my arms overhead as we do this. So nice open hips and we're just rolling the left. We'll say the whole, you know, hip circumference from open to close. A little bit of a hip lift. We smile. You know, the right leg is, is going to move. You let all of that come in. Good. Okay. And then we're going to come to center on your back. Switch your legs. And then we find that same action on the second side. You take your time. We're not going fast. Move slow. Each breath, each part of the breath, my own a part of this. And just notice as you've got this motion, is there any tension in the shoulders, the face, even the hands? 
evolution of this age. Good. Tell us again some big hip work, right? And we will bring that, um, bring yourself back. I'm going to bend the left leg, put the left foot on the floor, and then heel to the feet right together. Okay, extend the right leg, keep the left one bent. I'm just going to walk myself forward a little bit so I'm away from the wall. Let's bring the left knee in, take your hands up and over. The right leg is extended. Okay, so I'm going to keep the right hand on this knee. Take the left arm maybe above your head or up to the side. And as you inhale, extend the left arm to the right leg. And as you exhale, let that extension come back together. And inhale, extend. And exhale. One more. Okay. And the inhale, extend left arm, right leg. And on the exhale, we're going to bring this left leg over to the right side. Good. And then inhale, come back. And exhale, take it over. And don't worry about the extending part. Just be with this. Just moving it side to side. Nice and slow. Okay. Good. So you've got this. Moving in whatever way. So I say whatever way because you, know, you might have to use some parts to help make this happen. I'm just going to find it. Maybe one more. And this time we're going to let that left leg settle over. You might grab your prop and put it underneath. You know, whatever works here. We're going to have the left arm overhead still. I'm going to bring it back up to the side and find the twist here. Okay, friends, you know you can always find your way in. Maybe you move the hip. A little bit of dancing, let's call it floor dancing, until you settle. Or you maybe don't settle. <clears throat> if you have some more discomfort that needs these micro movements, do a good medicine. Be with your breath. A more full breath. And then you make your way back onto your back. Stretch out both legs, adjust your hip, like move in a way that so you come back into this lying down and this feeling. And this time, the left side you might feel more spacious and open and rested. Good. Okay, we're going to open the legs wide again so we can do the same thing with the right side. And then the right foot to the floor. Okay, and then we'll start with just the rocking in and out. And your arms can be out to the side and be over your head. Rolling open and close the hip. And this is the hip joint that's moving here. Receiving some not huge movements. Good nourishment. Three more. As you come to the peak of the pose, each side is to bring in a little extra move. Okay. We bring the knee up and we'll bring the legs together, bring the left, uh, sorry, the right knee comes in and just hold it with both hands. Okay, the left leg is extended. Now keep the left hand on the right shin and the right arm come over your head. And we'll just play with that extension as you inhale, right arm, left leg extend, and as you exhale, they relax. And do that three times. Okay, and then this time, inhale, extend, 
And as you exhale, we'll bring this right leg over and then you might use that extension action. It's really just about this rolling side to side. You have to work on the balance a little bit. All part of it. Not the destination, it's what we learn on the way. Last one, and then we let that right knee or shin or foot find its place here. Maybe the arms are going to open up to the side and, and we'll feel how well we're feeling. And maybe I need to move a little bit, take advantage of this place to experiment, see what I can do. And I drop into this invitation of joy. Just being here on your mat, on the ground. Nobody wants anything from you right now. Nobody needs anything from you. This is your time. Looking for the discomfort, welcoming it, embracing it. Have a guest at the door, you invite them into the house. You're finding your way back into your back. Great. Right. We're going to come to regular old good friend windshield wiper as a way of just releasing all that twisting that in the back. Good. All right, come onto your back, friends, and grab your good friend block. You're going to put block under sacrum. I'm going to go lowest height. Just find that in the face of the sacrum on the face of the block. And then I'm going to walk the feet forward a little bit more than my habit. Take them even you know, a little wider, maybe. Maybe you go closer. You feel like, how can I make a little bit of change? We're going to come to that baby windshield wiper. Hopefully your block is wide enough to support the sacrum hip and you know, we have to feel that so you don't go sliding off. But if you hit the corner of the block, sometimes that's a nice little thing. Use the block. Yeah, let's do one more. And then we'll come to the center. We're going to take this baby cat cow that's on offer here. It's moving the groins, hip bones, the low back, up and down. And maybe your arms want to come over your head. Okay. okay, and then find your way on the face of the sacrum. Or you might move the block, you know, things shift. Okay, I'm going to bring the right knee in. Maybe this time I hold behind the thigh or I need to use the strap. I'm going to feel, I'm just putting the strap in to see, see. And then I'm going to extend the left leg and look for balance here. On the face of the sacrum, not too much on one side, too much on the other. And if you want to play here and lift the left leg, extend that leg away, that's up to you. One more breath. Okay, I'm going to lower the left leg, extend the right leg, and then take the arms overhead. Just be in this extension. You know, might even pop itself into a more of a back bend. And then we'll switch sides and we'll bring the left knee in. Maybe you need to bend the right knee to make that happen and take your time. Strap, down, whatever it is. <coughs> you extend the right leg and you lift it up. Use the jaw. You know, I feel my right shoulder here get so tight. I'm like, oh, baby, relax. Nobody wants anything from you, right shoulder. We need to make it to you. Really get you relaxed. Okay. And then we bring both knees in. You're going to bring the legs like I'm sitting in a chair, take the arms down, and maybe the legs are going to go up in you. If that works for you, you can have the knees bent. Something interesting I'm just feeling is you move your legs a little bit, 
you can feel this rocking, but we look for the base of the sacrum and to find balance. Yeah, do what you like. I'm watching her just playing with his leg. I love it. You do that. Or you just be here with the legs up and whatever you're feeling, if you bend the knees, is that helpful? If you move the knees away from the hips, is that helpful? What happens if you flex the feet? What happens if you soften the feet? Okay, let's take three breaths wherever you are, whatever you're doing, motion of your own motion. Okay, I'm going to lower the legs down just for fun. You see, can I get them to touch at the same time? I'm going for heels. You can go for toes, and for the whole surface of the foot. Always interesting to notice which side hits first. Okay, I'm going to do a little baby windshield wiper. And then we're going to come off the block. Lower yourself down to the floor and just bask in the nut. Just grounding, grounding, grounding. It's a reminder that you are being held by something bigger than you. Bigger than you. All right, we're going to take the, uh, let's see, I think I need to roll over to the side and we'll come up. We're going to take the bolster. Okay, so here I want to lie over the bolster. I want to all today we lie over the bolster with the bolster the center. So it could be a this could be too much. It helps maybe you move down or you move up. Put your you have your block if you need to put it underneath your hips. Oh, that's lovely. So you know you don't need to worry about the big drop. It's gonna get the this is more of an upside down. Just get the heart lifting. The shoulders are maybe on the floor, maybe touching. Well, I'm going to take the block out and just be in this, and then the legs can basic resting pose. Radha Konasana, cross-legged, stretched out, whatever you want to do with your legs. Arms can stay out to the side. We'll take a few moments here. Good. So I do have the forehead is dropping below the chin. Just a little bit of a nasal drain. If that's not good for you, folks, when you have this blanket, roll it up more. Make it what you need. Feel the tension coming in or the anything that is unwanted. Just smile. Sometimes that's sometimes that's the key. Relax the temples, relax the third eye, relax the eyes. Be with the breath. Release. So I'm going to cross legged, so I'm just going to change the cross of the legs. You always change the position of your legs. See you know, that this shape, whatever shape you're in, whatever props you put in, is a different shape than you will probably be in for the rest of the day. Embrace the flow of the breath. Softening, releasing, a simple joy at simply being here. If you just did this, this would be a bit. Okay. I'm going to plant the feet on the floor and come back to this windshield wiper as slow, as little as it needs to be, just rocking the body. And we did these twists. So now we're just bringing this motion up a little higher. Okay, we're gonna come out and we're gonna roll ourselves right to the side. Press up. And let's just sit for a moment. Just feel. Well, we have the wall right here. Maybe I'm gonna sit right against the wall. If you, if you have your wall, if you don't, it's okay. It just that's not. It's not a requirement. It's just an extra bit of grounding. Feel the bring wall. Okay, your eyes are closed, let them gently open. Okay. All right, so right before we move into Shavasana, we're just going to take forward fold. 
Maybe the legs want to stretch out. Maybe you want the body to come out so the floor and the floor. Yogi's choice here. And we're just going to walk in really slowly, just receiving this opening at the backs of the legs, not looking for maximum anything. This is really about that. What am I feeling? I'm just finding the opening. You know, barely moving. I'm going to allow it to just come in so slowly. And you did this whole practice on your back. So just going to use that this feeling of relaxing the back. And this time, of course, it's not relaxing into the floor, it's just relaxing towards the floor. Best as you can. Inviting in what is. And smiling into all of those places. Finding the breath. Maybe if you have your props nearby, if you come to a place where you want to put a prop in and rest there, and say, we're here for another, say, five breaths. However, you want to use those. It doesn't have to be all the way at your maximum forward fold. It's about receiving, connecting. You know, the yoga is the yoga. Mind, body, breath, and the beautiful spirit brings you here, moves you into these shapes. Finding your gift. Knowing that these places that are a little tight, you know, if you were to, you know, even your, your, your doctor knows about you more than anyone else knows about you. You're the only one who knows right now where you're feeling this, where you're receiving this. So if you're just coming in and you want a few more breaths, take your time. We're just coming up to sitting. And we're going to flow into Shavasana. Okay. I think this is what we have so many Oh, legs are pretty well, but I think this is how I'm going to come in today. It is, I'm going to put this bolster right at the back of the thighs so that when I come to lie down, my thighs are supported. And I'll keep this little blanket here for the head. No one's using the heating pads. In summer, I still love the heating pad. I still all turn on our heated seats in our cars, right? <laughs> even in the summer. Well, I do. <laughs> okay, and then just ah, finding your way in. So I put this bolster up behind the thighs. If that gives you back discomfort, move it down. For me, it feels quite glorious right now. Glory us. Glory us, friends. Glory us. Coming into your sacred rest. It's time of receiving. Everything you open, everything you can open with. We invite the guests deeply into our home. This is what I do well. And when you can start with a smile, and then the exhale. Just waiting in. Resting into your inner wisdom. Started with the soles of the feet. Just guiding your awareness to the open soles of your feet. Softening spaces between your toes. Buoyant vibrancy of your ankle joints. The spacious, well lubricated joints of your knees. Imagining them 
well oiled as well. As well. And coming down to your hip joints. You've also been well oiled and open. The joints of the shoulders. The elbows, the wrists, the base of your throat, everything in between the base of the throat and the base of the skull. Softening of your eyes, resting of the root of the tongue. The thing being bathed by the flow of your breath, the open flow of everything within you. Dropping more deeply the back of the head. Big in your Shavasana rest, as long as you are. You are going to come out, start by taking some deeper, more filling breaths. Nourish yourself, expansiveness in each breath. So you're ready, just gonna roll the wrists fingers, move the ankles, the toes in some way. And you extend the arms and the legs. And as you grow tall and you make yourself small, it really feels nourishing. And it's like savoring this, these moments. When you're ready, you roll to your side, just resting there for at least three breaths. Butterfly comes to you. Something new. Transformation has taken place in whatever way only you do. Once you come up right, take a few moments to check in. I'm going to have the palms facing down this time, just receiving the grounding energies. If you're ready, we'll bring the hands to the heart. You might keep them there, or you might bow your chin and bring the whole face of your thumbs to rest along the central line of your forehead. Let the jaw go. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale and lengthen. Exhale this breath, maybe the hands return back to the heart. Kind of seal this practice with one hand. Inhale. Oh. Breathing into your hands, all your wellness, your we wellness. And then offer that to yourself, all the good energies of people we practice with, the people we love. And we'll send it up from your heart. Mm -hmm. oh. so much love. Very famous. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. Mm. We'll see you soon. So much love. Have a great rest of this weekend. See you later.